He's won championships, WrestleManias, and wars with atomic leg drops, vitamins, and prayers. He's inspired millions of wrestling fans around the world to do their homework, and has big booted his way into America's heart. That's right, he's Hulk Hogan. There's nothing he can't do. Well, except for that. Right, and that. <sighs> yeah, those two. It's not mine, because mine isn't that size. But we were discussing the length of Hulk Hogan's. You were discussing Hulk Hogan's penis? Yeah, because Terry Belay's penis is not 10 inches like you're trying to say. What the f***? Okay, let's just talk about the things he's done wrong. Specifically, endorsements. From t-shirts, to watches, to wrestle buddies, to flashlights, to energy drinks, to fly buddies. What, what the hell is that? <laughs> he just wouldn't be the Hulk Hogan we all know and love without a million different products to endorse. Alrighty, so this is a card subject to change. Top 5. Why not top 10? I didn't have enough for a top 10, so I just chose 5. Shut up, let's get it started. Wait, wait th this, this just doesn't look right. C can we fix this? Yeah, there we go, brother. Let's get this going, dude. Number five. Now this one goes on the list just for being so incredibly weird. I guess a while back, Hogan did a advertisement for something called the Hitachi Big Flow. I'm not sure exactly what it is, a fan, an air conditioner, doesn't matter. The commercial was awesome. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. Kirei na kuki. Karada ni wa hosho naga ga kimochi in desu. Hitachi no big flow wellness. Number four. Do you want to see Todd Bridges, Trisha Cantanella, Dustin Diamond, Danny Bonaducci, Butterbean, Aaron Murphy, Dennis Rodman, Frank Stallone, Nikki Zaring, Tiffany, in an epic battle in the squared circle? No, who, who the hell would want to see that? That sounds awful. And it was. Each week, Hogan would have this ragtag team of celebrities compete in challenges related to pro wrestling. Like in week three, they'd have to come up with their own gimmicks, or in week five, they came up with their own finishing maneuver. That sounds safe. Hulkamania is bringing Celebrity Championship Wrestling to CMG. Number three. Are you curious about what Hulk Hogan has to say today? Are you willing to spend $1.50 an hour for it? I didn't think so. Apparently Hulk Hogan had his own hotline at one point. His hotline offered trivia, facts, and a daily inspirational message from the Hulkster himself. I could not imagine what the guy had to say, but it must have been great. Actually, hold on a second, I gotta try this. Hulkamaniac, this is the Hulkster, and you just called the Hulkster hotline, dude. And I'm the Espanol, and Mark Dos. Here's some Hulkster facts for you. Did you know that the Hulkster uses his left hand despite always being right? And now time for a Hulk interactive game of 20 questions, dude. Is it purple? If yes, press one. If no, press two. I'm sorry, we didn't get your response. If yes, press one. If no, press two, dude. Number two, man. Looking for some guidance? Looking to get big? Well, look no more. The search is over with the official Hulk Hogan workout set. Released in the 1980s as a horrible, horrible attempt by the WWF to cash in on the Hulkster's popularity. 
The set was marketed towards little kids who wanted to get big muscles just like their favorite wrestlers. I know it looks like a board game on the outside, but they didn't skimp on the merchandise. This set included two hand grippers, a jump rope, two two and a half pound dumbbells, a headband, two wristbands, an official Hulk Hogan workout chart, and last but not least, a 40 minute Hulk Hogan instructional slash inspirational tape. You know that old saying about a strong body, a strong mind? Well, the Hulkster doesn't know who first said that. But to, Tom, Thomas Jefferson. It was Thomas Jefferson. Those are two things that you should work hard at developing. Here are a couple of other tips. Number one, take it easy when you first start. There's no need to push your body too hard. Begin slowly and work up to a longer and harder workout at your own pace. Because we all know that Hogan is an advocate for workout safety. Ah, come on, Gino. Oh. Up, Gino. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, Gino. Come on, all the way to the top. Come on, Gino. Out of the Hulkster, man. Hulk. Come on, Gino. Come on. Come on, Gino. Now, if that doesn't get you pumped enough, that was a bit of a dated reference. Well, anyway, check out the official commercial. Hey, how can I get muscles like you guys? Wow, Mr. Wonderful. You can start by getting in shape with the Hulkamania workout set. Great. It's got everything you need. Head and wristband. A jump rope for warming up. A hand gripper for power. Dumbbells for strength. An exercise poster. And even Hulk's own workout tape. The Hulkamania workout. Hey, thanks, Paul. Uh, Hulk will be in his next commercial, I swear. Can you believe this thing is going for over $300 nowadays? Not to mention some of the pieces alone are going for almost 500 bucks unopened. That's pretty amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Number one! Hogan had his try at hamburgers and even had his own restaurant right here in Tampa, Hogan's Beach. Which personally, I thought was pretty great, but Hogan had other attempts. So Hogan was probably sitting around his crib, you know, hanging out with Jimmy Hart, and was like, Aha! Pasta, brother! Hogan came up with a fast food pasta restaurant in the 90s. It was basically just incredibly overpriced SpaghettiOs in the shape of Hogan flexing. Wait, is, is he flexing? Ugh. In fact, they were called Hulkios and Hulkaroni. Who wouldn't eat that? This bustling chain only had one location in the Mall of America. Once again, Hogan contradicts himself and offers families the chance to partake in a carb-heavy meal. Because it's delicious and nutritious, brother. They actually promoted this slop on the first ever debut edition of Monday Night Nitro. Michael Jordan's got his restaurant in Chicago. Coach Don Shula of the Miami Dolphins, he's got a steakhouse. But WCW's own world heavyweight champion Hulk Hogan, he's got pasta mania in the Mall of America. I want to try to get a word with him if I can squeeze in there. Hulk Hogan coming up. Debut edition of Monday Nitro. You've got Big Bub in the main event. Who is the greatest wrestler in the world? You know something, Eric Bischoff? Tonight on Monday Nitro, Pasta Mania has got all my Hulkamaniacs running wild. You can only upcharge Chef Boyardee so much before the people aren't willing to comply with their pricing. Of course, this restaurant lasted less than a year before it shut down. And you know what? That's not even what interests me the most. It's the sightings of the old Pasta Mania awning. Apparently, it mysteriously resurfaced on the side of an abandoned building in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Then mysteriously, it disappeared before the building was torn down. Somewhere out there, there's a piece of history floating around, waiting to latch itself onto the side of a building. Now, you can't tell me these pictures don't have a strange eeriness about them. Now enough beating up on Hulk Hogan. We all bought Hulk Hogan stuff, come on, admit it. No matter what he does or promotes, he will always be the Hulkster. And I will always be a Hulkamaniac. 
He was my first favorite wrestler, and I will never look at a handlebar mustache or a bandana the same way again. Thank you, Hulk, for both the good and the bad. Especially the bad.